So when a hurricane comes through, if you wanna make sure that your roof is gonna stay on, uh, you, you need, to follow, need to follow these steps. These are, these are the pressures. Uh, this, is a, this would be a, a very good project. This particular project, uh, we, we lost out to a competitor that, uh, that is putting uh, substandard panels on there and the roof could, could very likely blow off in the event of a hurricane. Um, it, it was not designed to, to withstand the, you know, the wind speeds that, that this, this structure will see in the event of a storm. And we know on Clearwater, it's, it's going to see a storm eventually. Hey, I'm Jared Pierce with uh, Gulf Coast Supply Manufacturing. I'm the technical services manager. Looking by that, I'd say that probably, it could, it could hold more than 300 people. So we will consider that a risk category three structure. So risk category three, I need wind. I'm gonna view my results. It's gonna bump me up to 154 miles an hour. And my end goal, I'm trying to convert this wind speed into a pressure so I know what panels that I can use, and I know what my fastening pattern has to be on those pressures. 150, 456 mile an hour winds. I don't have anything in between, so I have to bump that up to 160. My roof height, I know it's 104 feet to that to that top peak there. So roof height is really tall. I'm right on the beach. I'm exposure D. This is this is worst case scenario. I know my pressure is going to be really high. Can we still put metal panels on it? Absolutely. So for aluminum, I'm looking at 032, 032, the rest are all 24 gauge. Can I get there with 032 using a standard 24 gauge fixed clip, three inch long base, clip spacing at eight inch on center? I need 165.5 PSF. Even our Versalock, good for Miami-Dade, right on the beach, hotels, stuff like that. Because the building is so tall, it will not meet the pressure. So we know right off the bat, we're gonna have to do engineering, but likely we will uh, shrink the clip spacing down to six inches and we may, worst case scenario, we may have to touch the clips. So that would be three inch clip spacing with the three inch clip. Um, clips will be touching, we can get 180 just from doing it fast. I know we can get 180, 190, somewhere in there. But your standard panel is not going to work for a structure right on the beach. So when a hurricane comes through, if you wanna make sure that your roof is gonna stay on, uh, you, you need, to follow, need to follow these steps. These are, these are the pressures. Uh, this is a this would be a, a very good project. This particular project, uh, we we lost out to a competitor that uh, that is putting uh, substandard panels on there, and the roof could could very likely blow off in the event of a hurricane. Um, it, it was not designed to to withstand the you know the wind speeds that that this this structure will see in the event of a storm, and we know on Clearwater it's it's going to see a storm eventually. So that is how to convert uh, wind speed to pressure to determine which panels that you can use on your roof and to determine your fastening pattern for that roof. Uh, if you ever have any questions, give us a call. Uh, you can look us up online, gulfcoastsupply.com, or shoot us an email, either technical at gulfcoastsupply.com or warranty at gulfcoastsupply.com, and we have a team there available to assist you in your calculations.